how's it going? I know I've been away for a little while and that's because I was writing my PhD thesis which you'll be very happy to know that I am done and I submitted it on the 6th of October. It hasn't really settled in yet and I still feel, I still get nightmares about missing a chapter or something else going wrong blah 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 and my whole body is in shock but it is done and I'm very grateful. Some of you were following my thesis submission journey on Instagram. I've also added all the posts and the whole roller coaster on my Instagram highlights so you can look through that if you're interested or curious to know what happens in those final days before submission. I'm super excited to be back and be able to make videos. I have so many ideas and I'll have a whole playlist on PhD thesis writing because I realized there is so much to share. I also learned so much about formatting and Microsoft Word and just putting together the thesis document so I will have a lot of those videos for you guys and I'm also going to start refocusing on PhD applications because I know it's now application season and you have been sending me lots of questions so we're going to talk a lot about that. So today that's what I wanted to start with. This video is going to talk about how you actually contact a professor in the beginning if you are interested in their work and you want to apply to them as a supervisor. This would also work for people who are applying for research internships like the Amgen Scholars Program, etc. I'm going to show you what the important things are to mention in an email when you are dealing with professors, okay? And I will actually use a sample that was sent to me, which I edited, and I will show you the difference so you can see side by side what works, what doesn't work. So with this particular sample, um, my friend kept sending this email to lots of professors, but it didn't work at all. And then when they sent it after my edits, they have now gotten their internship or uh, research placement in the States. So this has worked. So it's going to work for you as well. Okay, so let me show you the before and after and let's work through it. All right. This is the original email. And this part talks a little bit about this candidate's current research. And then these two paragraphs tell them about what this program is, which is that they can have a six month fully funded scholarship to do research at an international lab. And then it sends this link for more details, um, tells them what is missing and what they need. Um, it says, I've gone through your CV and I think you may accommodate me as my research project seems to be irrelevant to your experience. Therefore, I'll be thankful if you provide me with the opportunity to work under your supervision, etc. And then this section talks about, um, you know, what their expectations are from the supervisor. So, you know, I could become part of any ongoing project or I may seek guidance on um, my project or you may give me some new research project, etc. And then they end with my CV and statement of purpose for the current research project is attached I'll be able to provide um, and there's little lines in the middle etc so on the first look what you can see is that it's pretty long winded this is almost two pages and in an email it will be it will appear very long so the first thing is keep it short because Professors receive these emails all the time. They don't have time. They're incredibly busy. And so in like the first few sentences, they want to know why the heck you emailed them, right? So make it short and concise. Okay, so this is what I did to it. These are, I, I cut out, as you can see, a lot of the details on the actual program because they don't need to know really what they want to know is okay you have a fully funded six month scholarship and that's it they don't really care about you know the program they will never open this link to go and check it out etc etc so don't worry about that okay and if i show you how long it then becomes that it's this right so how you want to start is you know dear professor hope you are well I'm this, this person, currently a PhD candidate. So in the first um, sentence, just describe who you are and what you work on. So um, this person gave 
the title of their um, thesis and what I would suggest is actually go a little bit more into what you are actually doing so theoretically my study is linked with agenda building and agenda cutting theory um, and I would say maybe add one more sentence around this and what your particular interests are or what you're hoping to achieve in your thesis right now, here I've been offered a fully funded scholarship to collaborate with an international lab to complete part of my thesis. I would be very interested to collaborate with you as your research area overlaps with my own research interests. In particular, I find your work on this, this, this very interesting. So when you are sending things to professors, always tailor your email to them and their research and they want to know what is it that attract you towards that lab or that research and how your research interests overlap with the professors and they want to know that very early on in the email. After that you might want to add a sentence or two on like the skills so something like I'm also very interested in your research and working in your lab because you focus on these these um, techniques or skills and this is what I'll be able to learn during my time here you know what you want to learn things like that or you could also add in what you will bring to them so you can say something like this experience will greatly benefit my career and help me grow as a researcher in return I would contribute to your research output by publishing my work and generate generating new ideas Okay, um, so what else could you add here? I think that's kind of it. Just think of the top three reasons that you want to work with them and then just list them, you know, in addition. It also interests me because this, this is, in addition, I will learn this, 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 you know, so it will benefit me. And then you want to tell them how you're going to benefit them, okay? I would like a few moments of yours out of your busy schedule. This line doesn't really say much about you, so it can actually be cut. One more thing I would add here is if you are not sending them a complete research proposal or something like that, when you are making initial contact, then you can also share some ideas. So uh, some of my ideas around this include da 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 and then you can talk about what what it is you want to achieve. So in the six months, I could perhaps look at, perhaps explore under your supervision, you know, this, this, these topics, etc. Um, in, you know, I'm very interested in studying, you know, whatever it is. Tell them a little bit about your interests and your plans, okay? Um, but keep it short. Again, they don't have much time. Then in the last bit, expectations, right? Um... During my six month stay, I am happy to become part of an ongoing project in your group or um, maybe assigned another one, you know, or could work on an individual project linked to my interests. Okay, so this is obviously tailored to what you want to do. So do you want to be part of ongoing projects? Do you have your own project? What do you want to do? Uh, I may seek help and guidance to add some experience in my own you get. So this is kind of, um, yeah, this is a repetitive, so we can cut this out. I'm also certain that I shall prove to be a productive addition. So we don't need to repeat this because we've already said it in a much nicer way up here, which is, you know, I'll publish my work and generate new ideas, which you know, they, they know that's really going to benefit their lab and everyone's looking for that. So then you can link these two paragraphs. Please let me know. Should you need any additional information on my education or research work, I've attached my CV. So yes, attach your CV and thesis research proposal with this email. So that's good. If you want, if this is for a thesis project where you're already working on the thesis and you have a fully formed thesis research proposal then sure send it to them but again they might not have time to read it so still have a few lines kind of in the third paragraph about this um if you have availability to hold me we can schedule a call to discuss our ideas in more detail yeah this was a line that i added because invite them for the next steps which is you know talk talking to them and discussing your ideas I'll be happy to provide further information in if required. 
um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Um, you are sincerely, etc., etc., or you can write best wishes or kind regards, whatever. And that is it. That is literally it. That's what makes a great, um, a great email. So that is it. I hope that this video helps you and stay tuned for lots more. Bye.